Welcome to Tavola di Gomuzzola, rustic recipes from my grandmother's Italian village. Today we're going to learn how to cook a potato torta. Torta di patate, basically a potato pie. This dish is my favorite to cook, partly because it's the easiest one to cook, and partly because it's the most popular. Everybody loves it. For the filling, you need potatoes, grated Parmesan cheese, butter, and leeks. The rule of thumb proportion is for every two potatoes, you need one leek, half a cup of Parmesan, and two tablespoons of butter. The potatoes come first. The other ingredients adjust to how many potatoes you need for your filling. An eight inch store-bought crust takes about four big potatoes. But if you make your own crust like I do, the amount of potatoes depends on the size of the pan. One good way to judge if you have enough potatoes for the pie is to just scatter them around the dish, eyeball it. Leeks look beautiful and green, right? But they're not like onions. Because inside they're very often very dirty. So you've got to split them halfway, open them, and then clean them out. And then you want to slice them. You want a stick of butter. It's a lot of butter. Butter is the soul of the potato torta. Saute the leeks in the butter over a low heat until the leeks become translucent and soft. You want them to melt away into the potatoes. As for the potatoes, you don't want them too soft, or the torta becomes watery, not buttery. These are done. Mash the potatoes in the pan where you sauteed the leeks so that you soak up every drop of butter. I like to finish up using a fork where my grandmother did. That way I can make sure there are no lumps. Now it's time to add the Parmesan cheese. Here's about a cup and a half. Gives it that bite. Mmm, it's good. Spoon the potato mixture into a butter crust on a flat pan. You peel the crust away from the edges, lift it from under, and fold it over, even if you have to push some of the filling in. See the shape? You can push it in. Oh. Make the shape more regular. Just make sure you lift from below so the potato doesn't come out. Then there's the egg white. Right. A nice, glossy sheen on the torta. And when it bakes, it'll make it, give it a nice, toasty brown coating. Looks like it. All right, goes in the oven. Bake the torta at 350 for about an hour, maybe a little longer for a pie this big until it's a nice golden brown. Traditionally, it is cut in squares and served anytime. As a side dish with a meal, as a snack, as finger food, as a guilty midnight pleasure. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for joining. Ciao.